scaling a mountain, you're on a very fast pace. You and your friend had decided to go rock climbing since it was one of your New Year's resolutions. All of a sudden, rocks started falling down on you, bouncing and sliding. But nothing happened to you, not even a scratch. The universe is definitely on your side today. When you reach the top, you spotted a green leaf falling from the skies. But wait, it's a $100 bill. You grab it, but it all feels weird. Time to go back down. You want to try your luck more and decide to go down in one jump only. It's safe though, you've got your harness on. One, two, three, a deep breath, and off you go. In less than no time, you've reached the ground. When your friend is back on the ground, you jump in the car and drive back home. The next day, you get up, take a quick shower, brush your teeth, and you're out the door, ready to hit the road. Bzz, bzz, it's your phone. Not a call, though, just an email from your boss. Well, this can't be good. You open the email and see there's great news. You're up for a promotion. All your hard work has paid off, and the boss noticed it. Feeling confident, you decide you're going to ask for not only the promotion, but also the chance to be up for a partner position. You're on the subway, heading to work. You look down, and again, another $100 bill. Wow, these $200 appeared out of nowhere. You're finally at your station. Running out, you're a bit late for work, so you're going at a faster pace than you usually do. Suddenly, you notice an ad with a competition, and the main prize is a car. It's the last day you can participate. Well, you're feeling lucky, and send a message with your name to take part in this competition. You'll know the results in a couple of hours. You're finally at work, and it's time for the meeting with your boss. The boss says, since you've joined the company, we've grown by 4%. You've got more accounts to your name than any other employee. Would you like to become a supervisor? That's not enough, you say. I want to be a partner. The boss is shocked, and he says he needs some time to think about it. At lunchtime, you decide to try out a new place around the corner. As you're waiting at the traffic light, you see a girl with headphones on trying to cross the street at the red line. All of a sudden, you see a car speeding up, but the girl doesn't notice anything. You run up and pull her back to safety as fast as you can. I'm Angela, she says. She's got the most beautiful green eyes you've ever seen, and she invites you to lunch to thank you. You end up in that place you wanted to visit. She recommends you should try the double bacon cheeseburger. Ah, that was the best meal you've had in months. At the end, she hands you her business card. It says she's a dentist. Angela also invites you to have a free professional teeth clean. Sounds great! You set an appointment. Bzz. It's an unknown number calling you out of the blue, but you pick up. It's the competition jury member. Great news! They've chosen you to get that car. Right after you hang up, there's another call. Now it's your boss, and he wants to see you immediately. As you walk in the office, you see all the partners waiting for you. You're ready for the worst, but the boss says, Congratulations! You're now our new partner! We're going to rebrand your office before long. It's 6 p.m. and it's time to go home. You've had a new car and a new position today, but the best part of it is Angela. Before the day ends, you decide to take a step further. You call her up and ask her out on a date tonight. Two hours later, you're at her doorstep looking dapper. That suit cost exactly $200 you found. Her dress looks stunning, too. She says she wanted to wear it for a special occasion just like this one. It's 11 p.m. You gave Angela a lift home. As soon as you're back home, too, you get a message from your landlord asking you if you want the upstairs apartment as the previous tenants just moved out. The price is $300 less. You reply you accept it, almost falling asleep. It's a new day, and you have to get dressed. In the back of your closet, you find a blue ducky tie your mom gave you when you got your first job. You put it on to match it with your favorite gray suit, and as a lucky charm, of course. At the office, everyone's getting a kick out of your hilarious tie. Great tie choice, says Bill. The receptionist loved it, too. Your boss gives you a tap on the shoulder. You're startled, but as soon as you turn around, he winks at you. Well done, reaching new heights. Here, let me show you your new office. Everything's brand new. 
oh, there's a little welcome surprise for you in the drawer. Unwrap it. You're nervous, but excited. You gulp before opening it, and there's a letter alongside the gift. You open the box immediately. It's a gold watch, and in the letter, all the partners are welcoming you to the team. The sun sets, and the time flew by today. With all these meetings, you didn't even get a chance to look at your phone. There are two messages. Call me, Angela. And before you can blink, you're dialing her number. She'd like to go out for dinner. You're in, so you book a table for tonight. Your haircut's been due for a while, and since you're meeting Angela, it's time to take care of it. At the barber's, you sit in the chair and say, the usual, please, a haircut and a little trim on the beard. When the barber finishes, he says, this one's on the house. It's your 30th cut with us. You shake his hand and head to Angela. Walking to the restaurant, you see your friend Mike heading back home. You catch up with him and he tells you he has a 50-inch TV he's trying to get rid of. It's all yours if you want it. Of course! It's just perfect for your new bedroom. You bid him goodbye and start walking at a fast pace to the restaurant. You're eager to meet Angela and your face shows it. There's a broad grin on your face you can't seem to shake off. You're a few blocks away now and there's a store that's in liquidation. Everything's half off. You look at your new watch and it says you've still got about 20 minutes to pop in a store, so you go for it. It's a tech store and people grab all they can see. Phones, smartwatches, laptops. The place is swarming with customers. And this time you're probably out of luck. The laptop you actually wanted is already out of stock. You head out, but all of a sudden, somebody runs up to you and says, Hey, I saw you looking at the laptop section. Take this laptop if you want. I decided I don't need it. Guess what? It's exactly the one you needed. You thank him and go to checkout. Next, you pop in a flower shop to pick up some green dahlias. They match Angela's eyes. When you finally arrive to the restaurant, you realize you're two minutes late. There she is, Angela, waiting for you at the entrance. Hi, sorry I'm late. I've got you some flowers. They're green, just like your gorgeous eyes. Bold move, but you nailed it. She gives you a kiss on the cheek, and you go inside. The mood's perfect. The lights are low, the ambient music is nice, and the restaurant is not too crowded. So you talk and laugh. Right before you both finish your meals, she says, the food's delicious. How did you find this restaurant? You explained that last weekend you were a bit lazy, sweatpants at home kind of mood. You ordered some Chinese food delivery, and it was so delicious you thought she might try it too. A fortune cookie came along with your food delivery. It said, next week, your luck's going to change. And so it did.